Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the collective, which means all signs. So this may or may not resonate with everyone. However, you can always get a personalized reading. So feel free to hit my Facebook like page, same name, Moon Girl Tarot, and more. Message me on there if you want to book a reading or if you simply want to say hello. I do interact with you guys there a whole lot more, and I enjoy it immensely. So feel free to drop me a line while you're there. Please um, support my page by giving a like and a follow. I so would appreciate that. And thank you so much for supporting this channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. I do read every comment. I do respond. So thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. And if you'd like to bless my channel, you can through Facebook Pay on there or Cash App Moon Girl 1111. So I have a big read for you guys. So I'm going to be talking kind of fast because I want to make sure I'm able to get to every card and ruin and stuff like that. Um, so first off, we do have, oh, and feel free to swap energies. If it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with or someone in your surroundings. Do not get caught up on gender. Feel free to swap the gender as it resonates in your life and in your timeline. Because remember, guys, time is fluid. So whenever you do watch this video is when Spirit was really guiding you to receive these messages. So let's start off here uh, with the gentleman. It's in reverse. So I do feel that somebody here might feel kind of uh, doubtful or some sort of dissatisfaction here in some situation or even in a relationship. This could be some minor um, misunderstandings or some kind of emotional unease of some kind. Or you might even notice the energy of something or someone feeling a bit off or different. But I feel like... Some of you will try to just play it off or sweep those feelings under the rug. But intuitively, you feel, I feel that you know that there is something going on. There's some sort of changes here, okay? Um, if this does pertain to love, someone here could fear that the relationship is coming to an end or there's just something wrong, okay? Um, you could be feeling these changes also as well, Um from October the 1st to the 10th, um, which is coming up. Um, but remember what I said, time is fluid, so it can be happening now as well, but this could be an issue that is going to re, uh, reappear again around that time, okay, for some of you. Then we do have um, the ship here, and it's upright. So I do feel that some of you, you know, are thinking about traveling or some sort of movement. Maybe you have to travel for work or something to do with traveling because of course none of us been able to travel because of everything going on in the world right now um this could be business pleasure uh, maybe you're at a distance from somebody maybe you met somebody online and you guys are making plans to meet up here um i do feel that um however i feel like it would probably be in your best interest if you waited a while um to travel here unless you really have to um and if so please take the proper precautions be very careful i do feel that some of you really need to rest you might be feeling very um stressed some of you might have been very stressed out or worried about something or someone so i do feel that some of you really need to take time to rest here okay um and again this could be this issue could come up again uh, from January the 21st to the 31st and now okay remember time is fluid um I do have the fox here and the fox is in reverse so what I'm feeling here with the fox um I'm sorry it was um yeah I do feel like there might be somebody here with some hidden agenda okay so be very mindful of that there I do feel like some kind of sneaky energy somebody with a hidden agenda maybe not having the best intentions for you all right guys Please keep that in mind. Um, I do feel that there's going to be something that, some kind of issue that gets resolved though, all right? And now we're going to move to the tarot. We have the three of um, wands here. So with the three of wands that I'm getting here, there might have been a decision you were indecisive about, maybe an idea or something. You weren't really too sure which direction to go, whether you should do it or not. Um, however, I do see you guys lean more towards a decision here. You're kind of making up your mind about something now. Um, I do see some kind of planning or some kind of goals or projects that you've been wanting to do. Um, you might decide to try to go through with them. Um, I do feel that you're being very creative right now. You're in a very creative space. Um, you might be developing some new skill or you're doing something that might... I'm going to say for some of you, this is something that's groundbreaking. Like maybe you're the first person who does this or other people are doing it, but you're doing it in a different way. You're like adding, 
adding spice to it or you're doing you know you're you're doing something different here for some of you this is something groundbreaking like i said you'll be the first one who who does this um so it's a big deal for you here or or, or a big project or something you want to do here um you're, you're being very you're viewed as a, a visionary right now people are viewing you as a visionary or you're considering yourself as a visionary okay but uh please uh carefully weigh out the risk here okay um and then we do have the chariot in, in reverse so maybe there was this indecision because of everything going on you know things shutting down not being able to get projects off the ground or work or stuff like that so there is a standstill here because um the chariot is in reverse so things may not be moving here right now um and maybe that's why you were still kind of like oh, i don't know if i should go through with this or not um i do feel though that somebody here is definitely obsessed with this idea this project or making money or some kind of power or getting this project off the ground like you're really believing in yourself um but you know you you do have feelings of doubt because you know there's not much movement going on right now everything is in a standstill but i do feel like you have a strong desire to change your life a strong desire to, to uh, go through with these plans okay so it might take a while for you to get uh, things moving on for you but i feel like there will be some sort of success there will be some sort of movement eventually okay then we do have the three of swords and it's in reverse so because of all this i mean it's kind of feel making you feel down a bit you know what i mean um maybe confused still like uh, should i do this should i not maybe it's causing you kind of some mental anxieties worried about this situation um but I feel like keep going, okay? Uh, and, and eventually you will see something. You will see some sort of result here, okay? And then we're going to move towards over here. So family might be of significance right now. You might be very concerned with your family um, or something to do with family, children. Um, they could definitely be something of importance to you right now, all right? Um, more than usual, I guess. Or you're thinking about having a family um something with children perhaps okay then we have past love and it's in reverse so i do feel that perhaps somebody from your past might be wanting to come back to you um this could be vice versa energies guys maybe this could be you or there's um a past love here um there's some sort of situation with a past love. It could be somebody from the past coming back or you wanting to come back towards them or them just being in your energy, not being able to let go of this, okay? Because we do have the Ice Queen here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. It can be a man, but I feel like this is very much like the Queen of Swords card. Somebody here is just cutting the bullshit and the shit out. So you might have cut somebody off or vice versa. Um, they want to come back and they're feeling your coldness. They are feeling your absence if you've cut somebody off like you feel like this person might have left you out in the cold or vice versa you might um feel this way that they just you know picked up and abandoned you or something like that or there might be little to no communication with this person at the moment okay um then we're going to move on over here so we do have uh stay optimistic about your love life patient patiently thinking um i'm sorry Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. But for some of you, you definitely need to release someone from the past. Release your ex. It's time for you to clear your energy from this person. This possibly is this person we're talking about over here. And free yourself. Yeah. Some of you are very much still stuck on this relationship, on this person, or vice versa. They're still very much stuck on you. Even if they're not with you physically, uh, emotionally, uh, mentally, they're still, they still think about you. They're still very much in their head about you. Some of them didn't realize how strong this connection really was until they lost you, until you walked away or they walked away. And now it just keeps replaying in their mind over and over and over again. And for some of you, it's going to be very hard to release this person. Why? Because there's very strong chemistry with, with them. And again, maybe they did not realize that at the time when they were with you. There's a very strong connection here for some of you this could have possibly been a soulmate you could have had a soul connection with them or even some kind of soul contract in the 5d okay that's why it's made, being very hard for them to break away from you okay or vice versa here uh then we're gonna move over here we do have um 
Stay strong. So some of you really need to stay strong in the situation. Maybe you're losing your faith. Maybe you're just very worried about something or someone, okay? Spirit's really guiding you to um, stay in your power. Stay strong. We do have, you were born to create. Like I told you earlier, some of you are in a very creative state. Some of you are being, are very creative or have some kind of big idea going on that's still in the back burner right now. Uh, maybe you'll be the first one who does this, what I told you earlier. We also have let go of old. Yeah, some of you need to let go of old um, situations, old energies and move forward. Um, you might be very suspicious of someone, um, or vice versa. Someone can be very suspicious of you, even if they come with good intention. I feel like you're, you're keeping an eyeball out. Uh, you're like, oh, I'm not too sure of this, if I fully trust this person or the situation. I do see, however, some sort of success here for you. This can definitely be in your endeavor. Um, I do see, oh uh, yeah, this success is going to bring you great happiness. Okay, but I do see something to do with family again here. Okay, so there might be some kind of family troubles or something to do with family. I also feel that there might be, again, somebody here with not the best interest for you, not wanting the best for you, maybe some kind of hidden agenda here. Somebody might be um, watching you. Um, I'm not talking about a crazy stalker or something, but they could be watching you through social media or vice versa, trying to find out about you. Maybe you are in the public eye of some kind, of some sort or something like that. Someone's definitely keeping an eyeball on you. However, I do feel that you're definitely going to overcome this, especially because it's right under the lilies. Because um, you're looking for some sort of stability here and you're going to, you're, you're walking towards some sort of stability, okay? And then we have signs. So yeah, um... You're definitely getting signs here through the 5D. This could be spirit guides, guardian angels, friends or relatives who pass on the other side, your deities, whatever, okay? Um, so pay attention to your signs. Uh, this could be uh, pennies on the floor, um, um, feathers, animals, you know, butterflies, dragonflies, stuff like that, okay? Uh, we do have freedom and it's in reverse. So some of you are having a hard time letting go of the situation or uh, this past energy or some sort of situation here, you know, your freedom's in reverse. So yeah, you want to free yourself from something, but you just can't for some reason. You're having a hard time um, releasing yourself, freeing yourself. So ideas and inspiration, what I tell you guys, some of you guys are um, getting all these great ideas or being very inspired by something or someone. So I really feel like for some of you, you're watching somebody and you're like, you feel so inspired by them, okay? Or like, you know what, this person gave me like the... Uh, the inspiration to go forward with this or that. We do have the heart and the um, crocodile tooth here. So again, if this pertains to love, there could be a sneaky energy here. Um, and definitely with these cards here, it could possibly be somebody from the past. Um, I do see you will get some sort of unusual luck. Something might go in your favor and you just get kind of blindsides you in a good way. You're like, wow, I didn't expect this to happen, but it did. So awesome. Um, some of you are definitely over concerned, overthinking or worried about a situation or a person. Uh, some of you have made bad choices in the past, but who hasn't? But I do see you really evaluating yourself, really evaluating, evaluating situations and, and making better choices. And you will be making better choices here, okay? Um, I do see, okay, some of you definitely need to protect something or someone. And I do see that you haven't, in, uh, and, but you're really going to make an effort to protect something now. Or you need to protect something, all right? Okay, so back to the love situation over here. I do feel that there's somebody, whether you're single or not, okay, and this definitely can be somebody from the past, okay? Um, I do feel that somebody here wants to come towards you and, and bring you an offer, an offer of love. This definitely can be the person from the past because they're still up on you, whether you know this or not. There's still feelings here. Um, because maybe if you guys were in separation, they realize now that, you know, you are their Ten of Pentacles. You are their Ten of Cups. They, they're viewing you differently, okay? Um, or this could definitely be somebody else, but I'm strongly feeling this is like an ex, okay, for some of you. But take it as it resonates, guys. This can be someone new. 
Uh, they're viewing you as very uh, attractive, very abundant right now. They're viewing you in a different light. I feel like perhaps um, they used to take you for granted or didn't how you um, have you in high regard, but now they're like they're they're remembering you. They're thinking about you. They're viewing you differently. You might be. Um, they might be viewing you as very attractive and su successful and abundant right now. So, but I don't know if you're willing to take that offer because right now you might be single or you are with somebody else and you, you feel like, you know what, I don't really need this person. So I'm not sure if you're going to want to take this offer if they do come towards you or not or vice versa. Um, because you've probably went within here with the hermit and you found self-love, self-worth. If This person didn't treat you right. Okay. Or this could also be vice versa energies. It could be that, you know, this person went within, sorry, now that you're gone and they're, you know, they're definitely missing your presence. You're, they're feeling your absence and they're realizing that, you know, you are their ten of pentacles. You are their happy place. You are their person. They do feel this strong chemistry with you. Um, and I do feel that they're going to patiently wait for you or they are patiently waiting for you. I feel like for some of you, this person thinks that you're going to make a turnaround to them. So they're waiting around for that phone call, that message, or vice versa, okay? Yeah, this person definitely took you for granted. They thought you were always going to be there no matter what. They can get away with everything, and you're still going to be there. So they're just waiting and waiting. A bit of arrogance here, okay? Um, then we have two ruins here. We have Esau. So I do feel with this, definitely, this is kind of like stagnation. You might feel stuck in a situation. Um um not not much movement here for some of you um inactivity maybe with the draw uh maybe just going within some kind of ref um, like self-reflection for some of you it's really a time for you to look inward and see clarity very much like um the hermit card so what else okay i'm sorry um then we have um Cow now, cow cow now. Sorry. Um. So what I'm feeling here with you guys, I do feel that you definitely have the power within you to manifest necessary changes in your life. So you um. So you won't feel powerless in the situation anymore. Okay. You do have the power to do this. You have the power to create things and move forward. Um. And make your dreams a reality here. Um. This might pertain to work or a new job or a new project of some kind. You might feel very inspired, like I said, by something or someone for sure. I'm also getting messages from past loved ones, guys. And I wasn't going to do it, but I said, no, this is important. I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to do this. So what I'm getting here for you guys, somebody who passed on to the other side, to the 5D. I feel like you're saying, look, I. They left with a heavy heart. They didn't want to go, but they had to go, okay? You're definitely coming. It hurt you, of course. It hurt them, but you're definitely coming to terms with it now. It still hurts. Of course, it's always going to hurt. Um, it was very difficult for you. It's still very difficult for you, but I feel like you're kind of, you're realizing you're coming into terms with, with the reality of the situation, okay? You still think about them, of course, and the good times you had together with them. Whether you know this or not, they still come around. They still visit you. They're still here. So if you're talking to them, um, rest assured that they hear you and they're around you still. There was definitely great love between you guys. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a spouse. Of course, it can be anyone. Um, but they're at a rest now, okay? Or this could also be you, you know, coming to terms with everything, all right? And... This is what I have for you guys. I oh well, you know what? Let me get a few shells. Yeah, I'm getting strong work here for you guys. Again, signs with your dreams and stuff. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio, or you have it in your chart, or uh, they have it in their chart, or this could be like Scorpio energy. We do have the moon here in several pictures, so uh, it's water energy. Yeah, uh, spiritually um, guiding you to have courage over a situation. If you're wondering about something, the answer would be no right now, at least for now. Uh, I am getting like a um, baby. Some of you might become pregnant, or you have a baby. You could be dealing with someone who has children, or vice versa, or you're birthing something new. There's definitely surprises coming your way, guys, for a lot of you. Somebody here is sorry. Probably the ex. 
how they treated you. I do see a blessing coming towards you. Somebody here feels emotional and sad about something. Yeah, someone's very, very remote, remorseful about something. Um, travel keeps coming up for, for you guys. Um, like I said, be very careful with traveling. And if you do travel, because you have to, don't make it all about work. Um, have time to kind of relax um, and, and stuff. Because I feel like some of you are very stressed, very overworked, or just have a lot of stuff going on in your mind. You guys really need to try to get more sleep. Um, April could be a month of significance to you guys, or it will be. So can November. Yeah. What did I tell you earlier, guys, that there was a strong chemistry here because you could have had a, like a soul contract with somebody in the 5D and this is why it's hard for them to let you go or vice versa. Yeah, because I feel like there was definitely uh, a past life here with this person, okay? And this is what I have for you guys. I'm sorry I was talking really fast, but I didn't know if I was going to have enough um, time on my camera uh, recording time. So, but yay, we made it. I'm glad. So I really hope this um, reading was of help. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really hope it resonated. I really hope it helps somebody here. And as always, thank you so much for your support and stay magical. Bye, guys.